The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we pause for a moment to call to mind our sins and also to formulate our respective intentions for this morning's Mass. To Almighty God, and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, to whom my fault, to whom my fault, to whom my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your promptings discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I swear by God's truth, there is no yes and no about what we say to you, the Son of God, the Christ Jesus, that we proclaimed among you, I mean Silvanus and Timothy and I, was never yes and no. With him it was always yes, and however many the promises God made, the yes to them all is in him. That is why it is through him that we answer amen to the praise of God. Remember, it is God himself who assures us all, and you, of our standing in Christ, and has anointed us, marking us with his seal, and giving us the pledge, the Spirit, that we carry in our hearts the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your face shine on your servant. Let your face shine on your servant. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Let your face shine on your servant. I open my mouth and I sigh as I yearn for your commands. Turn and show me your mercy, show justice to your friends. Let your face shine in your servant. Let my steps be guided by your promise. Let no evil ruin me. Let your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Let your face shine in your servant. Please stand and read the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. stars because you are offering it the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to your Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
you are the salt of the earth. But if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing, and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. response to our prayers of intercession this morning is, Lord, lead us to the truth. Lord, lead us to the truth. Let us bless our Saviour, who by his rising to new life has freed the world from fear. Lord, lead us to the truth. Lord Jesus, as this day begins, we remember that you are risen, and therefore we look to the future with confidence. Lord, lead us to the truth. We offer you our prayers this morning. Take to yourself our cares, our hopes, and our needs. Lord, lead us to the truth. Deepen in us our love for you today, so that in all things we may find our good and the good of others. Lord, lead us to the truth. Lord Jesus, we pray that through our own troubles we may learn to feel the sufferings of others. Help us to show them your compassion. Lord, lead us to the truth. We pray for all who are poorly in mind of our body at this time, praying through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes that they may be strengthened and sustained. Lord, lead us to the truth. We pray too this morning for all those who are suffering the consequences of this current pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims throughout the world who have died. Lord, lead us to the truth. And lastly, we remember our dead. We remember in a special way this morning, John Michael Linden, whose month's mind occurs today. We pray to you for Margaret Davies, Martin McKee, and Kelly McNally, whose anniversaries occur today. And we also keep in our prayers those who have died of recent weeks and months. Remembering especially Brendan Kelly, Mary Livingstone, Marlene Antunes Bernandez, Brian McParland, and we pray in a special way also for the happy repose of the soul of Father Tony Corr, a relatively young priest of the Diocese of Dromore, who died suddenly there upon Sunday past. We pray God may welcome these deceased into his heavenly kingdom. Lord, lead us to the truth. Let us pray. True light of the world, Lord Jesus Christ, as you enlighten all people for their salvation, Give us grace, we pray, to herald your coming by preparing the ways of justice and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine of your freedom hands, it will become our spiritual freedom. Blessed be God for our God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our servant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with and lift you. your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Follow us in every virtue and give thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You give us the same word made flesh as mediator and he has spoken your words to us, and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women, whom you made for the glory of your name, into one family redeemed by the blood of his cross, and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now as the gate is unending with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of Christ. You are indeed holy and to be glorified of God, who loves the human race, and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love and way. As once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And we offer you the bread of life. 
life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit, grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop Michael, his assistant bishop, Sean our retired bishop, with all of the bishops and priests and the deacons and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times, by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Patrick, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the stare that he bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but we're us Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body of the Lord Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.